We're doing a little trial here. I'm going to tie the smallest fly I've tied in a long time, maybe a year. A little jigged nymph. Uh, this is not a pike fly, Jay. You can hear my kitty wanting to join me in the garage. That's a bit short. Me, well, not maybe not too much, not too short. Just a little bit longer. How's that? Nah, a little bit longer. How's that? I think that's just right. Okay, this is Life Flex. Brand new material to me. So, let's try it. <clears throat> I'm trying to be real careful with my thread tension. I haven't used 10 aught thread nor a hook this size forever. Now you know these purples and pinks and fluorescent oranges and chartreuse. I never used flies. Never. I fished a gold ribbed hare's ear and a black stone fly nymph. Boy, these, some of these hot colors have just really been proving their worth. Now, pheasant tail ice stub. So all this super glue, that's, I just formed that habit, you know, tying big saltwater flies. I can hear my kitty. The kitty is not happy with me. Okay, done. That's it. Beautiful fly jig hook. It'll ride like that, catch fish like crazy. I'm gonna take it another step if I can. This is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. It's been so long. A little partridge feather. Part partridge neck feather. Try to fold it. I'm just trying to be real gentle. You know, I was talking, I was making a video on pike and musky flies, and uh, it's a very physical process tying those flies. You're pulling on your thread, you're trying to get materials to flare. You're, you're I don't use Kevlar, but you're just right up against the point where your thread's going to break. You're pushing, you're, you're squeezing materials, you're really working it. That's not the case with these flies. And this is only a, well, this is a 12. These flies, th these are finesse flies. And, and you know, I know people are tying 16s, 18s, 20s, 22s. It, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's physical. It, it requires being in tune with your hands, your, your hand-eye coordination, how much tension you're putting on the thread, but it is a totally different game. I've got to adjust that bobbin. It's just almost too heavy. So I got lucky here. That uh, partridge hackle went on there just fine. Thank you very much. 
using a red thread here, you could use a purple thread, you could use an olive thread. You could even use a fluorescent red or fluorescent pink to provide a trigger point. Now I don't need this whip finish in my thread. It might actually might get glued and stuck, but there we go. So sometimes the thread up here is referred to as a trigger point. So there you have it. Really nice little does this have a name? Probably. Purple bead. Purple iFlex body. Uh, kind of an ice dub. A little wood, wood duck tail. Really nice fly. Um, get out there. Try, try this fly. Just, just realize that uh, we don't just, you know, just have fun with it. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Tell you something funny. I was trying to fly earlier. It was all looking good, and then, then when I looked at the video, looking from your angle, from this angle, I had all kinds of problems with the fly. Hey, everybody! Everybody, As if anybody's going to watch this, we, I, yeah, we, we're going to tie a little jigged nymph. I'm doing a warm up for some other videos. I gotta get a tail material. So we have lots of options here. I'm gonna use one that's, um, it's just, God, it's crazy good material all around. And that is pheasant tail. Now, the interesting thing about these jigged nymphs is what? Is that? There, there's a natural tendency to tie these things too full. Now the full dressed flies will catch fish, most certainly. But on average, I think that the more sparsely dressed flies perform better. But you know what? I am sure that that varies from place to place. Because, why? I've seen a lot of flies over the years and some flies that people use and find very effective in some areas are really dense, thickly dressed, heavily dressed. So I've got some uh, UV2 diamond. You know, I never quite know what I'm going to reach for. Um, now this dubbing might be a little bit too coarse, but we're about to find out. So that's too thick in the rear. So let's Hold that tight. There we go. Boom, boom. Here we go. So, um, I'm going to wrap this kind of the opposite direction, uh, the opposite angle. I'm going to uh, wrap this toward me to make it a little bit sturdier. Uh, that's a olive brown. And I like that quite nicely. And now I'm going to reach for something. I'm, I want to make a thorax a little bit denser. And I want the thorax a little darker. So I'm, I'm kind of getting hold of that noodle and twisting it and then holding it while I twist it. Here we go. I like that. Now, uh, how about a little no, so I've got a uh, metal brush here, which you have to be kind of careful with because it's conceivable that I'll just pull that dubbing right out of there. So that looks about right. 
So now I'm going to put a couple of little side uh, gills on this. I'm going to call them gills. I don't know if they really are, but bear with me. Shorten them up just a little bit. Pheasant tail. What, what I'm, I'm trying to make sure that these these gills or legs, I maybe they're legs. They're they're legs. They're not gills. What you're doing? I gotta go see my kitty. The Say hi to everybody. This is Boomer, my buddy. He he likes to rub up against the tripod. It's all good, folks. We're supposed to have fun. Oop! That never happens. This is supposed to be fun. Now, I'll tell you what, I've in getting ready to shoot these videos been watching a lot of other YouTube videos and there's some wonderful videos out there young people older people they're they're um, they're having fun I'm learning from them you know I've been tying flies for 50 years you think I know very much goodness gracious I I'm just getting there. I'm just gonna. So this could be one of these fully dressed. It's definitely got a tri you know triangular tapered from the head to the butt, which is good. Got my fancy new Italian scissors to get right in there. Some people just break that thread off. I'm not brave enough to do that. Anyway, I hope that's in focus. Really nice little jigged nymph. Um, kind of a generic color. Um, if we were selling this at a fly shop, we'd have to give it some sort of fancy name. Um, anyway, enjoy. Have a fine time and thank you so much for your kindness. Hey Jay, how's it going? It's going good. I just now saw I missed your call. Um, where are you? Are you still at the shop or are you on your way? I'm on my way. Okay, well, whatever you got, we'll make do. All right, perfect. I think I grabbed. Did you have a badass glass and a boron jungle? Yeah, yes. Okay, I grabbed those rods. Um, and I grabbed some slotted beads, so okay. hopefully, hopefully they'll work. Okay, well, like I say, we'll, we'll use whatever you got, and I look forward to seeing.